What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today, guys, we have a new map tour to go over. This is Richport by White Bull Amati. And yes, this has already been sent off to test two giants. Also, this is for all platforms. Well, will be for all platforms. Okay, so let's just get into this map right here. Okay, so here is exactly where you start off. Uh, let's let's go over the starting vehicles first, which you actually get a lot, which I'm pretty sure most people are going to probably sell and get some modded ones. But anyways, we start off with the Puma 185 CVX. We have the 7210 Pro, and then we have the John Deere 8245R. So that is the tractor you should start off with. So three. Uh, we have the Lizard Roadrunner. Uh, let's see, Harvester, we have the T560. And then Forge uh, Harvester, we have the FR780. Uh, let's see, we have the Vertimix 1702 SF Double. We have the Impador 3.0. We have the L218. We have the Pickup 1978. We have the Wilson Pace Setter. We have the Drakkar 8600. We have the 1051 Grain Cart. We have the 625X Header. We have the SFI 900. We have the Cruiser 12XL. We have the Solitaire 12. We have the Zert 9. We have the Solitaire 23. We have the Brindle K105. We have the Samsung Flex 23. We have the Samsung PG220. We have the TD12. We have the Dispine 313. We have the Hit 1214T. We have the SR314. We have the SLB 1290D. We have the Stego 485. We have the MES 400. We have the Bell Spear. We have the Pickup 900. And that is it. There is a lot of vehicles to start off. Also, if you don't like the way the farm looks, you can also sell the farm. So that's going to be definitely good for console players. So if you want to save on slots, there it is right there. And yes, I have no clue what the slots are right now. But we have the horse paddock. We have the cow pasture. We have the sheep pasture. We have the chicken coop. We have the dog house. Yes, there's a custom dog house on here. You have the large grain silo, which holds up to 1 million liters. You have the hay silos, which holds your hay and straw, which holds up to 400,000 liters. We have three bunker silos. You have garage, you have sheds, you have sheds two, shed three, house, and that is it right there. Uh, let me make sure, yes, you can actually buy them separately, it looks like. So let's go over here. Let's see the animal pens, are these? Yes, so if you want to you know, sell them and then place them the way you want to, you can. Uh, silos, they should be in here too. Yes, they are, they're right all there sheds there's the sheds right there also you can buy the john deere shop on here so that is pretty cool right there okay so now here we go here is your main starting farm uh but anyways what do you own on this map you own this area right here and then you also own fields one and field two when you're starting off uh the town well pretty much most of the selling stuff is all right in here and then we have the shop and the waterway right over well white way right over there uh, then you also have a few places right here. Here is your horse paddock. And no, you don't have to own the land to actually use it. Let's see if you go over to here. Uh, no animal. Pa oh, that's because I don't have animals in there. Okay, but here is the custom dog house right here. Uh, you can actually tell. Move for a second. Okay, you can actually just feed it by going right here. And it feeds them. Okay, here is also the custom house that they built. Uh, let's go over here. So we got a office right here with looks like they're checking out the new mods for the day. Uh, looks like that's a John Deere looks like. Here is the bathroom. I want a shower like this. If we go through here, we have the garage, which I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be getting rid of this truck and probably getting like a TLX or something. And then if we go right down here, here is your bed and this is the sleep trigger. And if we go right upstairs, here is your kitchen. You got some fruit juice right there. You got some water. Looks like you got turkey in the oven. That actually sounds really good right now. And then looks like you're watching someone mod on there. So that is the house. Then you got a nice little couch right there. Okay, so let's go outside. That all works. And of course you got the John Deere right there. Okay, looks like we got some benches right there. Swing sets, a little bit family garden, tomatoes right there. Okay, but anyways, here is where you get your slurry out. I don't know if this is the manure hose supported, but if it is, that would be amazing. Your manure goes right in there. And then here is your cow area. So here's where you put all the food and stuff. Let's put a few cows in there real quick. So there we go. 
I think this is where you get your, you put your food and your water and your straw and actually I think you put your straw in right here. And then they also go out through there. And if you guys can tell, there is also custom crop textures. Like everything is custom in here. Uh, not just, you know, a few crops. I think the only one that's not custom is cotton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only one. Okay, so if we go in here, we have another storage area. Really nice. Let's go and open that one up. Here's some more storage area. Yeah, this is a beautiful American map right here. Okay, there's the, uh, this well, the silo for your straw and your hay. Here's your bunkers, really nice custom bunkers. These bunkers are pretty big too. So we got two, three on the farm. Uh, let's go right over here. We have some more storage right there. I think this, is that right there a seed area right there? I'm trying to see real quick. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Be nice to make this like a seed refill area. Okay, so if we go right here, here is your silo. Here is another shed. And this is another one of the drive through ones. I like these drive through ones. Okay, come on. Okay, so here is your silo right here. Pretty big silo. Here's where you unload your grain. And that is where you get it out. So that is pretty much the main farm. I'm missing anything. Oh, where's the chicken area? Chicken area, chicken. Oh, the chicken area is right here. So if we go right here, let's buy a few chickens real quick. So they are free range chickens. They'll just sit there and yeah, <laughs> they'll go around everywhere. Uh, so pretty nice. And this is also the trigger where you get your milk right there. So on the farm, we have cows and chickens. Then let's see. Right over there, you can see the corn textures. Corn looks amazing on this map. We'll go over all the crops in a little bit, but first we're gonna be taking a look more at the map. Okay, so let's go over here. Here is where most of your cell places are. So the cell places we have is Applechester, Casborg, Far Under the Giant, Grain Mill, Kingswind, Spinnery, and White Way. And you can see everything that's sold right there. White Way is where you sell pretty much all your, you know, your straw, your hay, and all that good stuff. Uh, the spinnery, of course, is where you sell, you know, your cotton and all that. Kingswind, it looks like it's where you sell your wood chips and probably your lumber, which is this area right here. And yeah, it definitely does look like a sawmill because that is the first one. So it looks like right over here is where you sell your lumber. And there is the cell wood trigger right there. Okay, this map is a beautiful map. Okay, and then of course we have a fuel station right over here. Well, gas station, if I can get over to it. So let's get over to here real quick. Here is the Richport gas. So you can get your fuel here. Uh, I think these gas prices are a little bit wrong though. $16 is a lot for some gas. <laughs> Oh, and looks like you can actually go in too, but it looks like someone cleared off the shelves. Okay, looks like we have an ATM right there. This would be nice if this was actually, you know, like a wash station right here. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so if we go over to here, this is your biogas plant right here. So, of course, you sell all your silage right in there, potatoes, all that good stuff. Uh, I believe you have to own it just like usual. Uh, let me actually get in some money real quick. Okay, now I definitely have enough money. So let's go over here real quick. Let's buy that. So there we go right there. Should pop up in the store menu. Yes, it does. And as you can see, it takes all your silage and stuff like that. It takes manure. It takes slurry. Uh, it doesn't take no potatoes or anything like that. Okay, but that is where you sell it. And then right over here, we have a bunker right here and we have another bunker right there. And of course your digestic goes right in there. Okay, so that is the biogas plant. Really nice. Uh, let's go over to here. Okay, here we have the Casborg spinnery, the animal dealer, the grain mill. So a lot of cell places right here. Okay, here is, which one is this one? This one is Casborg. And then right over here is spinnery. Actually right back over here. Okay, so this is the spinner right here where you sell your uh, wool and stuff. Uh, can't get over there. Okay, let's just go right over here. Here is the animal dealer. So this is where you buy all of your animals. Really nice. And then right over here is another cell area. This is, what is this called? Uh, this is called 
grain mill. So this is probably where you sell most of your grains. If I can, actually, I think it's up there. Yeah, let's go actually up here real quick. Yep, it's right up here. So that is the grain mill. So that is most of your selling areas on this map right here. Uh, let's go right over to here. Let's go to Apple Ch uh, Chester. So here is another sell point. Just go right up here and sell, which this one, let's see, Apple Chester, uh, more of your grain stuff. So you actually got one, two, three, four places that's gonna be comp competing for prices. Okay, yeah, as you can see, look look at the grass textures on here. Amazing grass textures. And then you got your corn. Uh, okay, let's go back over to here. Here is your horse area right here. So you got the uh, White's Bull Modding Ranch right here, which they might have to get rid of that sign because I don't know if they can advertise that. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. Open gates. So you can open and close the gates right here. Uh, where do, this is where you can get your horses. Like I said, you don't need to own it. So get some horse, horses right there. And they should be up yep, right there. That's a beautiful horse right there. And you can actually open these gates too. So that's pretty cool. So you got those gates right there. Uh, might have to fix that part right there. <laughs> like I said, this is an early preview copy. Don't think the horse is supposed to be going up on the gate like that. Okay, now, now it's doing better. So all these open up. Here is your water area. And your food and your straw probably going right over here. So nice, nice horse area. Okay, so if we go over to here, this is for Andre the Giant. This is another cell area. Uh, this one takes your regular crops right here. So uh, there's that one. Got like a little bit town back here. All these buildings and stuff. Got the American flag. Okay, and there is, I believe, is this your wheat? Uh, yep, this is wheat. As you see, the wheat even looks different on here. All right, so there's that one. Uh, let's go up to Whiteway, and then we'll take a look at the shop. So this is Whiteway right here. This is, I believe, where you sell all of your bales and stuff. Yes, this is your bale sale point. I like all those bales stacked up right there. I can never get mine to look like that. It's a really nice area right here. Maybe park a few vehicles in there if you want to. And then right over here is the shop, which is a really nice shop. It's a nice John Deere dealership. So let's go over and walk over here. See, to me, the, the, this grass looks so much better. Okay, so here is the John Deere dealership. You also have some vehicles right there. Right over here is where you customize your vehicles. You can open up these, yes. So these things can't open up. That does not move. And then of course you can also go inside the dealership. ATM right there. So open up the door and then you can buy your vehicles right here. Ooh, puts me right back out there. And then also you can also, you can't get in this, but you can do this. Watch, you push the B button. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that is the dealership on here. Okay, let's go over to here. I think that is pretty much most of the map. Okay, we also have our sheep area right here. Uh, looks like water right there. Probably your food goes in here. And just a nice little bit area for your sheep. Actually, food probably goes right there. Um, I don't know where the trigger is. Oh, there it is right there. So let's just buy a few sheep. So there we go, there's some sheep right there. That gate does open. Yeah, but really nice. Okay, so that is it of all the regular stuff. Let's go over to here real quick and I'll show you guys a little bit, a little bit of the custom crop textures. Uh, if I can get out, oh, I'm actually in it. Okay, let me just go right there real quick. Open the door. Oh yeah, also you got a workshop here too. And which can do a, which can lift. As you see right there. Just go back down. There we go. Okay, open that up. Okay. So there is that. Okay, let's go over to here and I'll take, I'll show you guys a little bit of the crop, custom crop textures. So if we go over to F F11, uh, let's go to here. Let's change this to, here we go. Do some corn real quick. I mean, some wheat. 
So that's the first stage of growing on wheat. Second stage. I'm gonna go through this really quick, okay guys? That's the third stage. And then this is the growth stage right here. So that is the wheat. Okay, let's go to barley. That's the first stage of growth right there. Third stage of growth. Fourth stage of growth. It, it looks so much better. And then the fifth stage of growth. Looks really good. Okay, then we got oats. First stage of growth. Third, well, second stage, uh, second stage of growth. Can't even speak today. Fourth stage of growth. And then the final one right there. So that's the oats. Then we got cotton, which I, cotton is exactly the same. Let's go to canola. We got those right there. We got those right there. Second stage. We got the fourth stage. And then we got the fifth stage. And you, yeah, it definitely looks a lot different in canola. Uh, then we got sunflowers. Here's the first stage of sunflowers. Second stage of sunflowers. Third stage of sunflowers. And then the harvesting stage is right there. See, that looks totally different too. Okay, then we got soybeans. First stage. Second stage. Third stage. And then the last stage, which is the harvesting stage. Okay, and then let's see after that one, we got corn. First stage. Second stage. Third stage. And let me back up a little bit so you can actually see. And then the harvest stage right there. So that looks really good. Uh, I think potatoes in them do too, but I'm not gonna really uh, take a look at that one. Let's change it over to grass so you guys can actually see the grass. So that's the first stage of growth with grass. Second stage. And then the last stage of growth with grass too. Also, let me uh, put it up to here real quick. Let's put some, let's put some corn up there ready to harvest. I think it's six. Yep, ready to harvest. Okay, let me get to, into the combine real quick. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where's okay? There it is, right there. Okay, now I need a corn header. Oh wow, that one's way back there. Uh, where is the corn header, real quick? Um. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get a corn header real quick. Okay, and here we go. I just want to show you guys the harvested textures real quick. So let's go right there. And this is what it looks like when you're harvesting. So it has like kind of like the Stone Valley textures. I like these textures right here. Okay, so there is that one. Let's go ahead and dump off this header real quick. Let's just put it right over here. Don't need it. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to here, go under empty. Okay, so now that thing is empty. Don't gotta worry about it. Okay, let's put it on the regular header. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do some soybeans real quick so I can show you guys the harvested textures of soybeans. Uh, let's go to F11 real quick. Uh, where's it at? Soybeans, soybeans seven. So there's the soybeans right there. So let's go right there. Let's start harvesting these. And there we go right there. As you see, that is the harvest estate of soybeans. I don't know if that actually looks different, but I will show you guys one more. I think it's canola. To me, canola looks a little bit different when you harvest it. Okay, so I need to go back into here. Go back there. Oops, got to change it over to that. Empty. Okay, and now let's change this over to the canola. Uh, canola and yes this map is seasons ready 
I probably just passed it, didn't I? There it is. Okay, so that's canola. Canola looks totally different to me. All right. So that's what it looks like when you're harvesting canola. And there is the harvest estate of canola. To me, it looks a lot different. It looks like more stubble and stuff. So that right there, guys, is a early preview of Richport. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-stay farmers. Peace.